Yo, this is Jay from Straight Smoke Gaming, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about four ways or tips, whatever you want to call them, on how you can make your Madden franchise a little bit more realistic. I know this has been a big play with a game that's not realistic, so just by doing these moves, uh, it makes it more realistic or, I guess, challenging, however you want to look at it. Um, you know, I figured I'd make this video because I just started doing these and I do like the gameplay a lot better. So starting off number one, you're going to want to adjust your gameplay sliders. I mean, it really all depends here what skill level you're on. I have mine set to me playing on all Madden. If you want to pause the video, go ahead and take a look. Uh, go ahead and do that. I will be going down to the CPU skill in a minute here. But yeah, I mean, it just, it's different for everyone. So you're going to want to mess with these a little bit, try to figure out what's good for you. And like I was saying, the skill does affect the sliders. For example, I started with these sliders. I was not on all Madden. I was on all pro, I think it is, the next highest. And too easy. But when I put it on all Madden, it is definitely a little bit more challenging, a little bit more realistic. I have mine set up to where um, a better, if a, it really exploits uh, matchup differences. So that's how I like it. Number two, it is going to be the play call limit. You're going to want this play call limit because it stops you from running the same amount of plays over and over and over again. You know, anyone can go in and take the glitched out plays. So you're going to want to pick ones that are glitched out, ones you may pretty much make sure you use the playbook a little bit more. Um, make sure you use your brain a little bit more. I have my play call limit set to three. I would go a little bit higher, though, because I was thinking, um, you know, when you get to the later parts of the game, you might want to run the clock out. So if you want to make it a little bit higher, I completely understand. But I have mine set at three. It also makes you a little bit more balanced when you're playing, passing, and rushing. Um, next, you're going to want the longer quarters. Reason being, look at the time up there. This is the first time I got the ball back. We are already under um, the six-minute mark. I play on 10-minute quarters. So... For example, if we are playing on the six-minute quarters, the quarter is all done. I just got the ball. The 49ers used the entire clock in one quarter. So playing on longer quarters, you know, it gives you higher scoring games, and it gives you a little bit more realistic scores. It's not the 10-7, to 10-3 games that you normally get with six-minute quarters. I think this game ended up being 24-28, to 28, a little bit more realistic. Number four, the reason is going to be... Um, only use coach suggested plays reason being similar to the um play limit name can pick the glitch plays if you only give you the ones that the coach wants you to use it gets you a little bit more familiar with the team's playbook and it does make it a little bit more challenging make you think a little bit especially here in the late game when you do have um, plays eliminated because of the limit so those are my four tips on um how to make it a little bit more realistic, I guess. Now, like I was saying, these are all optional. I'm sure people have other opinions that they use. Go ahead and comment those down below. Let me know what you guys use. These are four things that I use. I think it really does help the game. Go, I'm telling you guys, go ahead and check it out. You know, if you don't like it, you could always go back and switch it. But yeah, no, that's that, that's what I go by. I've had a lot of fun with these sliders, um, the play calling limit, and the longer quarters, and the only using coach suggested plays. So, you know, a big complaint is that Mad's not realistic. So if you follow these um, rules, I guess, I guess if you want to call them rules, if you follow them, it's really a little bit more realistic, more fun, more challenging. I'm, if you're like me, I'm stuck in a spot to where all Madden's normally a little bit too challenging and all pros a little bit too easy. So these really do make it a little bit easier. And, you know, when you're using the sliders, you could always try them out try something and then lower it if you think it's a little bit too uh overpowered but that's all we got in this video if you enjoy please don't like and sub for more madden gta and red dead content we'll see you in the next video bye guys